What else do you do? I'll take that plus one, <laughs> Plus please. one, it's straight. I'll take that plus one. Just anything to try edging him out just a little more, am I right? Man, I was doing so good up until the, he, I got around him. And I know you say Rogue One isn't as good as... No. Me and Charlie are like in the same boat in that. I know because you guys say the characters aren't memorable. It's like I tell people, like, if you want a movie that you remember, you remember the characters. Right? Yeah, that's true. And when the, your favorite character is like, the blind, the blind Chinese guy, <laughs> or Machine Gun Kelly. Those aren't even characters in Rogue One. You're just, you're just naming traits, right? Yes. Man, it seems like the that... only one people remember the name of is K2SO. No! But yeah, I admit Rogue One suffers from pacing problems and like some of the reshoots. Like, ruins all the character development. And it's just like one of those... Damn it. It was predictable because it exists in an established universe. In the middle of an established universe. Oh, I'm eating that. And that might... Oh! oh! And I think that's the hardest thing to do is write for something is... Trying to write something in the middle of something that has establishment in a universe. You know what I mean, right? Yep. Because it exists- Damn it! My super armor wore off! Because it exists in a, a, set, a set point of time, Wind. it makes two things too predictable. You lose okay, strength. Um... You lose a lot of- you lose all your strength, though. But I get health. Are you, is it worth taking all the strength away? No. Because <laughs> then you're going to do even less damage, right? Yeah. And that plus one will mean nothing. And then episode four, my goodness. That's, one of my, that's my least favorite movie from the whole. Original trilogy. Damn Three. it, again! Pre-George Lucas edits to episode 6. I wasted that. Because I felt episode 4 like was a little slow in terms of pacing. Like it took a while to finally start getting into it. And even now it's still a little slow in the beginning. I mean... I understand you're trying to build Luke up as a main character like everyone should, but... I'm not the only one who sees episode 4 as slow, right? No. Like, the initial... Like, up until they reach the Death Star is like really slow in terms Damn of... Damn it! That's the end of this match. Yep. And don't get me wrong, the Death Star dogfight is fucking badass. Like, even to this day, it's still, like, it's so memorable. But then, yet again, I love dogfights in Star Wars. Um, it's not worth it. I fought so hard for that plus one bonus. I'm not going to give it up. Because Bizarro wants to be a complete tool. And you know what, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I actually think episode 5 with the new edits and everything is perfect in terms of Damn Star Wars. It. I mean, I really have nothing bad to say about episode 5. Is that a bad thing? Come on, tell me, is that, <laughs> please tell me, that's... Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I I honestly don't know. Like episode five is no. the best Star Wars movie. 
to date. And it's like one of those, it has a lot to it. There's like so much weight in everything. It's so. You get invested so much in everything at this point. And it's like one of those, it leaves you hungry into what's gonna happen next. And then we have episode 6. Thank you, Lucas, for ruining this. I mean, no one gave a shit about blinking Ewoks. Charlie didn't even notice it, remember? Oh, I caught him! Remember when you told him they, they're blinking Ewoks? He's like, what? They blink? He didn't even notice that. Oh, the, oh that stupid song. Yep, yep. Gee, no, yep, the yep, Jabba's yep. Palace one. Oh, like Jedi Rock? And... Yes, it was so no. unnecessary. And it's just like, it's not even good CGI, it's like... It's one of the worst CGI Damn. examples of CGI. Well, at least you can't gain any health back. But you know what I mean about it? It's like one of the worst examples of CGI. No! Just start shooting. Get away from me! Oh! oh my God, the face! Yeah! Hellboy wins. Oh, the, like going on, ruining the Star Wars, ruining the epic Vader scene with that stupid no! <laughs> Thank you, Lucas, for ruining one of my favorite movies. Yeah, um, you're welcome. I I take great pride in. Ruining people's memories, and I'll continue to ruin their legacy with my crappy movies. You know that's what he's probably saying in his mansion right now, watching this video, because we're gonna title it like George Lucas ruins childhoods. <laughs> Did he even watch this anything that Yay! his name is brought up in? Probably not, because most most of it is saying, "Yeah, we did it," and I didn't get as angry as I did with all the other ones. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching Hell on Earth, everybody. Who knows, maybe we'll do this Justice League one with Cyborg. Yeah? Yeah, fuck no. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Before we go, enjoy the sounds of Yoshi.